Well, it's a legacy term phase one of a readiness exercise. So there's three phases that over the next few weeks we'll test, and that's generate, employ, and sustain. Phase one is uh, the generate piece where we take and we get personnel and equipment out of town to go on a, a deployment. Everybody needs to have confidence that everybody around them knows what to do. And if, if we don't all know what to do and how to prepare and how to react in those situations, uh, you know, the, the consequences are pretty grave, honestly. So it's better to test it now than when it actually comes down and then we fail operationally. We're going to be processing a lot of passengers, a lot of cargo, in accordance with the installation deployment plan and make sure that the deployment machine itself is, runs very efficiently. PDF lines run by the FSS, your medical folks are there, and then whoever else, you know, the deployment control center designates. Normally people come in, they go in the line and they have about 20 different stations. This one's different because what they're doing is they're trying an expedited processing um, to where people can come in, hit just a very limited number of stations, and then go out the door on the other end. Pallet building happens down the units. It starts with the pallets and the rolling stock. All that has to be prepped down the units. They have to weigh everything and inventory everything. Once all that stuff's done and then they have accurate weights, measures, their, their shipper's decks are filled out, they have something hazardous like a, like a lead acid battery, fuel on board, lithium batteries, ammo, things like that. All that has to be accounted for along with sensitive items. They have very stringent timing for that. Grissom has got a really good history about doing cargo and pack processing. And when the wing got called up for 9-11 that night, we hadn't been processing cargo packs yet and we had the call that we were leaving tomorrow from Grissom. No one in the wing, no one in the history of the Air Force Reserve had ever done that before. You know, we made history with that as far as the cargo stuff, and we've always done that really well, so we want to keep that, you know, that sharp end of the sword going, and make sure we can do it and do it at a moment's notice.